being led by the Spirit is one of the greatest benefits of being a new covenant believer other than just your salvation and knowing that your sins are forgiven, that you're going to go to heaven and live eternally with God. It's a wonderful thing to have this privilege of being led by the Spirit. Every believer can hear from God. Every believer has the privilege of being led by the Spirit. That means that you really don't have to run around and ask other people all the time what you should do in situations. God will show you what to do. But you know what? In order to be led by the Spirit, you've got to have a little confidence. And you've got to have a little bit of courage and a little bit of boldness because sometimes it's a little bit scary until you get experience stepping out into things that the only proof that you have of whether or not you're right is what you sense in here and what you read in here. We would much rather be able to just go to our hotline to heaven, <laughs> dial up God, Could I speak to God, please? <laughs> oh, God, so good to talk to you. Yeah, this is Joyce down here on earth. Listen, um, I, uh, I, I need to know what you want me to do in this um, situation I've got. But you know, really, while we're talking, I'd just like to know really what you want me to do with my whole life. I'm kind of confused and <laughs> mixed up about the whole thing. You know, what's, I mean, since I've got you, you know, what's the call on my life? and you know, what's going to happen with my kids and, you know, how, how's all this stuff going to, huh, what, huh? Oh, you want me to read the word? Oh. Oh. You mean you want me to act like I believe it? Oh. Oh. You put your Holy Spirit in me and you want me to learn how to be led by the Holy Spirit, huh? Well, wouldn't it just be a whole lot easier if you'd just tell me? <laughs> yeah, I, mean, I, I think if you'd just tell me, it would just make everything a lot easier. Because, you know, that being led by the Spirit stuff, huh, you got to go now? <laughs> oh. Oh, yeah. oh. Oh, okay. You already told me once. You're not going to tell me again. Okay. <laughs> I get it. All right. Well, love you, Lord. Bye. <laughs> Everybody wants to know how to hear from God. <laughs> well, you know, it would be nice if God, we, we could just pick up the hotline to heaven and make a phone call and God, you know, I just say to the Lord sometimes, if you would just come and sit down here, just five minutes, we could get my whole deal straightened out here. <laughs> but you know, it's interesting. God really is very mysterious in some ways and, um, which pretty much means that you can't always grasp everything he's doing with your brain. We, we really, as spiritual beings, we have to learn how to function and flow in the spirit. We have to learn how to discern things spiritually. And uh, it seems like that it would be so easy for God just to tell us, but he wants us to do the search. He wants us to walk in faith. And to be honest, he wants us to learn and to grow and to stretch and to step out and to sometimes even make mistakes and learn by that and step back and then not be afraid to step out again. And you know what? Every single person in here can learn to be dynamically led by the Holy Spirit, which literally means to hear from God, but you're not going to do it sitting around idle asking everybody else what you should do every time you have a situation come up in your life. You're going to have to get with God, know the Word, learn, learn how to follow peace, and you can be led by the Spirit.